What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. Well, it really should be no real big surprise here guys along with any other sport that's kind of had problems with the COVID-19 coronavirus stuff that's kind of going on here. Uh, the Big Ten and the Pac-12 have said they're going to suspend their season up until uh, the spring season and really I think it really should be till the, uh, till the next year of sports kind of comes back around the way it gives you a longer time frame but for the time being they said we're going to go till the spring, which gives them about another six months right around there uh, to reassess the situation and to bring back at least uh, college football. Now, how does this impact other sports like your college basketball season? We know there's a lot of people that like uh, college basketball, me included. I, how does this impact baseball, college baseball, college softball for women, track and field, soccer, all those lacrosse, you know, all those sports? How does it impact those other sports now maybe some of these other sports have already uh, their seasons have already came and gone too i don't know i don't know that but i just kind of are wanting to know how those other sports are going to be impacted you really can't have a bubble with these kind of sports uh like you can with professional like with professional sports i guess it's kind of really what i'm saying like with the nba they're all playing at the espn worldwide sports complex in orlando uh you have baseball which is you're paying these, you're paying these players millions, if not tens of millions of dollars, um, to have a say in it. I know that the almighty dollars kind of talking here with those sports, but you have the the Marlins and the Cardinals now with COVID cases now, and they haven't been asked to come back yet. How is that going to impact if a team gets it and spreads it to another team? Because you know football is a high impact sport where they're where blood, sweat, and saliva are kind of passing in between each other. Now. <laughs> And probably anything else that probably goes on there. You, that, that all goes on. With your compadres, you're real close together on the sidelines. How's, you know, there's a lot of moving parts to this stuff. That's, uh, I don't think that really sporting in general is really kind of figured out yet. NBA kind of seems to have figured it out the best where you're in a bubble. And if you're outside of that bubble, you go outside, you're kind of going to be asked to not come back. And so that's the risk that you take. <clears throat> but... With the amateur athletes here, too, along a lot of the people have said, or a lot of athletes have said, student athletes like Taylor Lawrence from um, Clemson has said that he wants to play. But being an amateur athlete and playing college sports, you do have a voice, but the overall, <laughs> the overall overriding makers are going to be your presidents and your um, conference commissioners is kind of where I'm going with that. Maybe even the NCAA might have to even be involved in that, too. So the players' voices aren't really being heard. And to me, I kind of guess that's not a problem with me because really you're asking, if you're going to ask students, athletes to play, what are you going to ask the, your actual students to do? Are you going to ask them to go back to college and be at the dorms and be in apartments and have parties and socialize and all that stuff when, you have, when you're said, when governments have said social distance is with at least six feet and no more people than... I don't even know what it is now here in Michigan. I think it's, what, 10 or something like that? I, last time I knew it was 10, but that's kind of where we're going. If you're going to ask your college athletes to play, what about your students to play? If you can't have students come back, you really shouldn't be playing sports. That's kind of where I'm at with this. But I do think that it was at least a good idea for the Pac-10 and the Big Ten to kind of say, hey, we're going to retract on our statement to kind of come back. We're going to wait to reassess till the – at least till spring, but I think at that point you're going to see college football uh, actually be canceled, along with your basketball, your baseball, all other kind of winter and spring sports are probably going to be canceled too. Just because college football's canceled, that doesn't mean we didn't hear about any of the other sports here too. So, pretty big development here for uh, football uh, and for sports in general here. How is this going to impact the NFL? How are these decisions going to impact them? Are they going to go? like with all the other pro sports, and they're going to say we're going to try it out and play. I would really like to hear Roger Goodell's kind of thoughts on this or kind of what they thought of to up till this point. I haven't researched it at all here on my computer. Uh, I would, I'm going to kind of research that and kind of see what he what kind of he says. And I may bring this up as a, a, another uh, point here, uh, part of my video, but in a, in a follow-up, I guess that's really what I'm trying to say. But I guess that's what it is, guys. No college football till at least spring, if not canceled this season, until there's a until there's a virus or something kind of make a, a pretty big dent into this. I don't think you're going to see sports here around for a while, or 
even any kind of economic uh, impact, any economic upturn kind of coming on here too. But guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Is it a good thing that it did? Is it a bad thing? Are you upset? Are you pissed off? Is it the right decision? You guys will know you guys will go ahead and put it down right in the comments section. Also, please consider hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys get more videos just like this one. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.